Chapter 2. Animal Life Get into Different types of habitats are shown below. Write the name of any one animal that lives in each. Desert Polar region Ocean Animals live in different kinds of environments that suit their needs. The natural home or environment where there is availability of food, water, and shelter is known as the habitat of an animal. We already studied about the different habitats of animals and the adaptations they have in different contexts. Let us now study about some more adaptive features of different animals. Breathing methods. All animals breathe in oxygen, but they take it differently. Like birds, reptiles, and mammals breathe with the help of lungs. Earthworms breathe through their skin. Fish breathe through their gills. Lungs. Most of the land animals, including human beings, birds and reptiles, take in oxygen through their nose, to the windpipe and then into the lungs. The lungs are abundantly supplied with blood vessels. When the air reaches the lungs, exchange of gases take place. The oxygen from the air passes into the blood and the waste carbon dioxide passes out through the nose. Infomine, a special substance, hemoglobin, helps to carry fresh oxygen through the blood to all parts of the body. Spiracles, insects like cockroach and grasshopper breathe through tiny holes called spiracles present on their bodies. Spiracles lead to air tubes which are spread throughout the body. They carry air to all parts of the body. The body tissues absorb oxygen and give out carbon dioxide, which is thrown out in the environment from the body through the spiracles. Moist skin. The creatures living in damp environments have unusual ways of breathing. A frog is an amphibian. It can live both on land and in water. On land, it uses its lungs to breathe, but in water, it breathes through its moist skin. Earthworms also breathe through their moist skin. They take in oxygen directly through their skin and give off carbon dioxide. The process is known as transpiration. Their skin is always moist by a slimy mucous substance produced by skin cells. A moist surface is necessary for oxygen to be absorbed and carbon dioxide to be given off. Gills Water animals breathe through their gills. Gills are thin and flat organs, richly supplied with blood vessels. When water flows over the gills, exchange of gases takes place. The gills absorb oxygen from the water and release carbon dioxide in the water. Although dolphins and whales are also aquatic animals, they breathe through their lungs. They are mammals. They have to rise to the surface frequently to breathe. When they are underwater, they hold their breath. When they are out of breath, they return to the surface to take in more fresh air. Unlike other mammals who breathe through their nostril and mouth, dolphins and whales breathe through their blowhole situated on the top of their heads. Since the blowhole is at the top of the head, only a small region of the head is required to break the surface of the water to inhale air. Pull up your sleeves. Observe a fish in an aquarium. There are flap-like structures on both sides of its head. Gills are present below these flaps. Observe the movement of the flaps and the color of the gills. Find an answer. How can a dolphin hold their breath for so long? Movement. Animals need to move from one place to another in search of food, shelter, and also to protect themselves from predators. Most terrestrial animals have four limbs. The front limbs are called forelimbs, and the back limbs are called hind limbs. Humans use their hind limbs to walk and forelimbs to hold objects. Reptiles like lizards,
crocodiles, etc., have four short legs to crawl on the ground. Snakes have scales on their bodies. These are attached to their ribs. These help them move swiftly with their whole body surface. Infomine. Bats are the only animals that can fly. The skin from their body stretches to join their forelimbs, forming wing-like parts. Fish have fins, which help them to swim. The tail fins help the fish to push their body forward and change their directions. Turtles have four paddle-like limbs to push water and move forward. Penguins and seals also have flippers to swim. Ducks and gulls have webbed feet to swim in water. Frogs also have webbed feet that helps them to move in water easily. Insects have six legs to crawl and jump. Ants and cockroaches crawl on their legs. Grasshoppers use their long hind limbs to hop. Some insects, like butterflies, houseflies, wasps, honeybees, etc., have wings to fly. The forelimbs of birds are modified to wings that help them to fly. They have hollow bones that make flying easier. Body coverings. Different animals have different types of body coverings which help them to survive best in their environment. Some types of body coverings are Scales. The bodies of fish and reptiles are covered with scales. The scales on the body of fish are flexible, overlapping and waterproof. They make a type of slime that makes it easier for them to escape enemies and protect them from diseases. The scales on the underside part of a snake's body help it to grab the ground so it can slither along. Infomine. The scales are hard so they can provide a sort of armor for the animals. Shell. The bodies of animals like snails, turtles, and tortoises have a hard shell. The shell protects them from enemies and prevents their bodies from drying out. Feathers. The bodies of birds are covered with feathers. The feathers help the birds to fly and to keep their bodies warm. You have already studied in detail about different types of feathers of a bird in your previous class. Fur. All mammals have fur of one sort or another. It may be small hair or a full fur coat. Fur keeps the animals warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Some animals even shed their fur to get their winter fur or summer fur. Up for review. State true or false for the following. Insects breathe through spiracles. Earthworms breathe through lungs. Dolphins and whales are mammals. Penguins have webbed feet to swim in water. Migration. Large-scale movement of an animal species from one place to another is called migration. Animals migrate to escape from harsh local climate or in search of food. Birds like the Arctic tern travel a very long distance of about 35,000 kilometers from the Arctic to the Antarctica and back. Siberian cranes come to India every winter to breed. Fish, like salmon, spends most of its time in the sea. It travels long distances to reach the river to lay its eggs. When the eggs hatch, the young salmons travel back to the sea. Insects, like locusts and monarch butterflies, also migrate large distances. Locusts travel in huge swarms and destroy standing crops. Monarch butterflies migrate from Canada and North America to Mexico. Take a look. Breathing methods. Lungs, spiracles, moist skin, gills. Body covering. 
scales, shell, feathers, fur.